On their way out now for race number eight. I'm not sure if our man Jackie Smith uh, hit the wrong button on the nomination. Might have been better off going to Winnie Park a bit closer, but he's got the favourite and he will be mighty hard to beat, let me tell you. Pelawa King, one of the, the genuine stars of this distance range of the game. He'll miss the kick, but he does have a extraordinary finishing burst. 165, the price. Ailey Bell, who's expected to be on pace at 290, and they head out for race eight due in around two from now. So they're on their way out. He's going to give them a head start, you'd think, Pelawa King, but he will run the favourite. $1.65. And they are on their way out. He is a lot better than the majority of this field. So they are just arriving at the start now. <clears throat> Runners arriving at the start here. Race number eight, dollar sixty-five. Now Palawa King at the start for race eight. At the start. Dollar seventy about Palawa King. He's as short as you'd want to take for a dog who is going to need that little bit of luck in running because he definitely won't be leading the race. That's a given. And they're about to move in. He was nothing short of outstanding last week. And they are about to be loaded up. 170 about Palawa King. He's a genuine top liner. A 600 to 700 metre star, and he just showed his versatility with that win at Wentworth Park prior to winning here last week. He flew around Weddy over the 520, so he is so versatile, Palawa King, and he is normally a, a very, very poor beginner, barring that Wentworth Park run a couple of starts ago, which he began quite well for his standards. So he's 170, expected to be last away, expected to be first home, the runner in green. Set to run now. Light on race eight. Away in racing, and Palawa Kings miss the start. He'll drop to the rail. Out fast, Raven Parrot goes through to Lee Jigglypuff, and Palawa Kings squeezing. It's getting tough, but he got to second. And right now, just about looks game, set, match. They're followed by Triumph. Grace in shock. Ailey Bales a mile back, and at the end, Wrangler Jane. Here goes Palawa King. Sets his sights on Raven Parrot, and they come off the back, and the favourite zooms to the lead. They're well clear to Jigglypuff, and then Ailey Bale. Triumph starting to make some ground. Palawa King kicked away. Way, led by four. Raven Parrot does a really good job to stick on, but it's all Palawa King, and he does it oh so easily. Palawa King by four, beating Raven Parrot Triumph, fourth Jiggly Puff, and then Wrangler Jane from Grace in Shock, and Ailey Bale was knocking up at the end of the field. He has just got an uncanny knack of weaving through a field, Palawa King, and the run first to last, 34-33. You have to wonder how he does it. He misses the kick three lengths, and it's almost a tactical manoeuvre. I don't think Jack Smith will ever, ever bother doing box work with him because it's almost his, his strongest uh, statistic, I suppose, or his strongest point to his racing style because he does miss the kick, but he lets the race unravel, and he's just got such good field sense 
to take the runs and he just loves this 600 metre start when they can pack up at the first corner and then all of a sudden he's last through to second and third and he was the winner of that a long, long way out. Six the winner, beats two Raven Parrot, eight triumph for number one back into fourth pacing. So Palawa King takes it out, 180 and 104. Raven Parrot, 320, no third triumph and fourth in was number one. Just when he went past Raven Parrot, he looked as if he was about to go bang and put two or three lengths on and then Raven Parrot, to his credit, really did tough it out and